I don't think that that's uh, that that's an issue to find time and that's it. Thank you, Ms. Wash Mrs. Washburn. Um, to piggyback on what the other two said, technology is a great tool to have at our fingertips and something that I would definitely utilize. Uh, this is something that I believe in and am passionate about, so I will find the time to make sure that I'm always prepared, I have the energy, I'm focused, and I'm ready for board meetings, and I'm ready to tackle the tasks at hand. Um, early mornings, late evenings, whatever it takes, I'll make sure that I'm prepared and ready to represent Loveland. Thank you. Uh, the next question is, describe your view of the roles of the school board and the superintendent. And we will start with you, Mr. Cortin. Well, as I had mentioned earlier, I, re I really believe that the role of the school board is to set the plan and measurable goals for the future. I believe that the superintendent uh, is the person who is tasked with implementing those goals and that plan and is held to those measurements. Um, I believe that the superintendent, while the, while the board certainly are good representatives for the school, the superintendent is the, the one who is the lobbyist for the school. Again, uh, energizing staff out with the community, really engaging, presenting the message. They have to be the master communicator of what's going on with the school. Um, and I believe that that that's a very important role. They also need to be uh, our representative in arm pushing for what Loveland wants from us, from their schools at the state level. Um, so the, the superintendent has a very key role there. Um, and while the board certainly directs the superintendent and, and the treasurer and makes decisions on those things, I think the board also really owns that plan and those measurable goals. Thank you. Mrs. Washburn. Well, I think that the board has a very important job as this, the superintendent. Again, the board would represent the people of Loveland and we would be a voice for the people of Loveland to ensure that we're moving in the right direction. The board, in my opinion, would also ensure that we're being fiscally responsible as a school district, kind of that check and balance with the superintendent. Um, and the board would just make sure that the proper systems are in place and that there are areas where we're working on growing and improving constantly so things don't become stagnant. I think the superintendent's role is to lead the district and to inspire the people working under him or her and to make sure that the people under the superintendent are being held accountable and they are pushing the teachers so the teachers can therefore push the children every day. Thank you, Ms. Pettit. The number one job of a superintendent is to educate our children. With that said, uh, what goes into educating our children isn't just opening up a book and saying, learn this and have this test on Tuesday. It involves extracurricular activities. It involves emotional health. It involves um, family well-being, it, it, um, it involves so much, and a superintendent needs to organize that during the day and um, put into place the programs that's gonna help with the children's, all of the children's academic needs. If, if a child is coming to school hungry, they're not gonna do well at, at, in, on the test or in their class. If there's things going on at home and they, and, and, um, they come into school and things are, they're not performing well. It is a superintendent's job to make sure that we have those programs in place um, and to follow up. And, and it's our job as the board to make sure that we hire that superintendent that can put these programs into place and the academics into place and, and put the emphasis on education. Um, and then combine everything else with it. <clears throat> it it's, it's an important job for the board to hire um, so much goes on to it, into it. We also have to listen to the community to see what they want, what, what are they expecting out of our schools, and take that information as we hire our superintendent. 
And um, I, 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 it, it's just, anyway, <laughs> it, it's a great, I love being a, a school board member because um, it's a great opportunity um, to ensure that we give every, all our students a, a great education from A to Z. Thank you. The next question is, um, would you discuss um, how, how you see yourself uh, once elected as a board member? Do you see yourself primarily as a representative of the community or as a representative of the school system, the face of the school district out in the community, or a combination of both? And I will start with you, Mrs. Washburn. The best questions are the ones that you don't have to answer first. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, I definitely would see myself as a combination of both. I would see myself as a community member, as a parent, as a representative of all of those things. Um, I would be out there representing the school board as well. So I think that it's a balance and I don't think that they are mutually exclusive. I think that they go hand in hand naturally. Thank you. Um, <coughs> Ms. Pettit. Um, prior to becoming a school board member, I would go to the elect to the um, the elections every every year I voted and I voted our school board members because I was hoping that I was picking the right person that was going to represent what the community, me being part of the community, wanted to see in our schools. So I hope that as a Board of Education that I am presenting the community's expectations and that's what we're, we're moving forward with the community's expectations. At the same time as, as taking our stewardship over the education, over the school system, and combining the two. Thank you. Mr. Portillo. Well, I believe that as a school board member, I would represent the students and the best interests of the schools for the long term. So it's probably also a little bit of a combination. Um, certainly, the, the students, the community, and the parents are who elect the school board, whom I represent. Um, but the community also looks to the school board to provide uh, communication and information back from the school to the community. Um, so in that sense, you know, there's, a, there's representation of what the schools are to the community. Um, but the number one, I believe, role of the school board is to represent uh, the best interests of, of the students and to ensure the right path for the school system as a whole for the long term. Thank you. Should we just do the last question and then we'll go to the next? Thank you. Ms. Pettit, we're going to start with you, so I'll keep this straight now. Would you, and this has been mentioned, but would you just, would each of you talk briefly about the Ohio State report card? Do you feel that the report card and the information it provides is important? Uh, and this, of course, is in your opinion, this is not the board. <laughs> is, it, is it relevant as a grade of the district? Um, how we were doing it before, or how the state was doing it before was not efficient. Um, and so they got a great idea to put this new program together. And I think what's behind it it was good in theory. It needs a lot of tweaking and a lot of upgrading so that it can be more representative, I think, of what the actual districts are. Um, in my personal opinion, I think there's way too many subgroups in it. Uh, and and, and base, moving from year to year, it, and your, your subgroups change from year to year. So if you have a subgroup this year and not next year, then you get a zero. Or it, it, it's, it needs to be a little bit more mainstreamed because I think the report card does have information that is good for communities, for moving into communities, um, for choosing that school district for your children when you're buying that first house. Um, I think we need to 
work with the, the state to come up with just a little bit better program. But I, I, I think we're moving that way, and hopefully that. Yeah, we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are.